Hey guys, today I'm gonna share with you some secret OnlyFans marketing sauce. In this video, I'm gonna show you full guide how can you set up and use apps like Tinder, OkCupid and Bumble to grow your OnlyFans subscriber base. Quick disclaimer, all the information you're gonna see in this video was already available for people who bought my course. We actually posted a video about dating apps, I think four or five months for my VIP members. Now we're adding 20 more lessons to my course, which is gonna be one of the biggest courses about OnlyFans and OnlyFans marketing. That's why I'm gonna share some of the information and secret sauce on this channel. So definitely subscribe. And if you're looking to actually earn Earn ten thousand dollars plus you can actually get my course it's in the description so follow the links and let's get back to the video people watching this video probably already know about the dating apps and they know how powerful can be dating apps like bumble and tinder for growing your only fans account or your only fans agency so today i'm going to talk about a full guide how you need to set it up how to register how to verify and of course how to grow so first of all we will need three components so first one is anti-detect browser second one is going to be proxy and third one is going to be a virtual phone number to verify your account let's go through these steps together so first of all we will need anti-detect browser and this software is used to create multiple different dating accounts and profiles on one pc on one laptop and there is a lot of different choices and options for anti-detect browsers so i'm going to show the most popular ones and the ones I use personally. So the number one is Dolphin. And I recommend this anti-detect browser because it has 10 browsers for free. So if you're a new user, just person trying it out, it's a really good option for you to test it out and see what works, what doesn't work. And for the base package for 100 different profiles, it costs $89. Next option is Go Login, which is the cheapest option on my list and it's actually $24 a month for 100 profiles. And this is a good option if you don't have a big budget, but the actual software is a bit lacking. Next up is Lollycat, and actually I used Lollycat a lot, and it costs $59 for 100 profiles. And number four is Ads Power. I use it on the Mac computers, and it costs $40 for 100 profiles. So basically all these programs do the same thing. They help you create multiple accounts and multiple dating accounts on one PC and you can connect proxies to it. So for this example, in this tutorial, I will use Dolphin because I think it's gonna be the first option for people just trying it out and it's for free, so it's easy to try it. Next up, we're gonna need a proxy provider. And actually this could be the biggest hurdle for people just starting out because it's really important to find a good quality proxy. Otherwise the accounts get easily banned or shadow banned, which of course we don't want to happen. For this video, for example, I will share some of the popular uh, proxies used in OnlyFans world. So the first one is Astro, proxy second one is ip royal and the third one is proxy empire and yes these proxies are not top tier at the moment they were pretty popular i would say four months maybe three months but the more people use these providers of course the proxy quality always goes down that's why i always recommend you to find your own proxy provider and you can do that on the black hat world forum you can actually find hundreds of proxy providers and you can chat with them you can ask questions and I definitely recommend you to test it out and take your time finding the right proxy uh, because I don't think people on YouTube are going to share uh, their proxy provider because that would hurt their own business. So once we have proxies and we have anti-detect browser ready, we are ready to start setting it up. So let's jump into the Dolphin anti-detect browser. And once you open it, you will have this window, which is pretty clean. And you need to click create profile. And this is basically where you create your new anti-detect browser. You can name it. So let's name it test. And you can see you have different options for Windows, Mac, Linux. Uh, next up, of course, we need to connect the proxies. And if you click new proxy, you can add any proxies. And if you click here, you can see what format you can paste your proxy. So just paste uh, the proxy and you can check uh, if it's everything's working. So you can see the IP is okay, it's California, America, and you can create your proxy. So once we have that, we finally created our first browser and we can click start. And actually, personally, I'm not a Dolphin user. So I'm doing it for the first time on Dolphin because I actually use Lollycat. I started using Lollycat a long time ago. I just got used to it and I didn't switch. I have ads power. I tried go login. There's many other options. So let's open our browser. So it's like a normal Chrome browser and we go to Bumble. Once we are on Bumble, we click uh, join. And on this step, 
uh, we click use cell phone number and we're gonna use a virtual number to create a profile. And there is again, lots of different options for virtual numbers. I personally would recommend using SMS man or SMS activate. And I will leave the links for both of these in the description so you can find everything easily. So once we activate the account, we need to upload some images. And again, this is a step where I see people make some mistakes. So there's different ways you can go about it. So the first option is to upload different pictures to different profiles. Next option is to do a light editing on the picture. So reframe it, maybe add some saturation, uh, sharpness and delete the metadata. Option three is to remove the metadata and use apps like Face App to modify pictures. And I actually really recommend people uh, watching this video to try out uh, Face App. I use this app a lot because it helps you to edit a picture really quickly and you can post like 100 different pictures just for one picture because you can edit the smile, you can edit the hair, you can edit backgrounds, everything. So the app is really, really useful and actually makes a model look even better. And if you're a model, I would recommend you also using it because you can make yourself look even better. So now we have everything ready. The proxy and the anti-detect browser is connected. We created our Bumble account. We added images to our account. Next, we need to verify the account. And this is another place where I see people fail. So six months ago, we were doing the OBS virtual camera method. And actually, I think this is a waste of time and I see still people on Telegram uh, discussing it. I think the best way is to actually let your model log in and do the verification herself. It's way faster. It gets verified way easier. And I think the account's also gonna be surviving way longer. But if you have more models, I recommend you to create different teams uh, so you can create uh, teams on anti-detect browsers. So each model gets like her own team. And on the main profile, you create uh, browsers and accounts and just share with different teams. So you can share the profiles with the models. I hope it makes sense. So uh, it's really simple. So the model just logs in, opens the webcam and verifies. I think you don't need to overcomplicate this step. So now you have everything ready. You have the account, the account is verified. Next up, we need to warm up the account. And this is again where you can make hundreds of mistakes and also Bumble and Tinder is really changing so it could change at any time. So my main rule with uh, Bumble and Tinder is to actually use these profiles and dating apps like a real person, like a real human, because of course all the robotic and automation will be detected. So for the warm up, once you're uh, signed in and verified, I would recommend you to swipe maybe 10 times, five times, swipe a little bit. And after that, when you get the first matches, uh, chat with these guys. So actually take time and chat with these people because I think this is uh, how the real people use these apps. Once they download the app, once they install it, they're really excited to see the first matches. They're really excited to chat. And I think this is really smart to warm up your app like a real person. So for the first two, three days, actually match maybe like five or four times and actually take time to chat with people you match with. So this is pretty simple. Next, of course, a really important step, we have to have Instagram or Snapchat handle in our bio. And this is getting a bit tricky right now. And uh, I would say what I don't recommend doing. So first of all, I don't recommend you use Instagram on Snap profiles that have official or have this uh, underline. Also don't use symbols like at, don't use emojis of the camera, don't use uh, short words like IG, Insta. These things get detected really fast. And so your account is gonna be detected, shadow banned or banned. Try to mask your Instagram handle or Snapchat handle uh, without using any of these symbols or emojis. So there's actually an art to it. And I think it's gonna take you some time to test it out, but it's not that hard. And the other thing I would really recommend you doing is not putting all the eggs in the same basket. And by that, I mean, don't use the same thing, same method on all the accounts, because if Bumble or Tinder changes up something and it detects this one thing, all of your accounts are gonna be deleted. So if you're doing proxies, still do like three different providers. If you're doing undetect browsers, still use two free browsers because if one thing crashes, you will still have two or three more uh, that will be still bringing money. Once you uh, follow all these steps, now you have your account ready, verified, you have the handle and you're ready to match or ready to swipe. And all you need to do is just repeat the same thing over and over again, create accounts, 
And also don't forget, this works not only for Bumble, Tinder, it works for all the other different apps, dating apps, local dating apps, sex dating apps. So you can use it everywhere. And guys, of course, if you have any questions, you can leave them in the comments or join my free Telegram group. It's gonna be in the description. You probably know about it. And of course, subscribe because I'm gonna be doing part two of this video and I'm gonna show you how to create Bumble accounts, uh, multiple Bumble accounts on Android phones or using hardware. So definitely subscribe, see you on the next one.